Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel Pumpkin Becky. Today's video is part two of my succulent update. Please enjoy. Uh, more surreal succulents. This is Graptopetalum. Oh, some of these you really have to take a run up at. <laughs> okay, Graptopetalum, Petandrum subspecies superbum. Sometimes people call it superbum. It's not super bum, it's superbum. If you love chubby leaves, this one is for you. Echeveria albicans. <laughs> oh, do you look at that little chunky monkey? Oh, I'm gonna lose some perlite, but I don't care. Oh, I fell in love with that one. Lovely rosette. Just oh, look. look. <laughs> this is a well known one. This is Echeveria Black Prince. I hope you can really see. Excuse me, peeking around the side. <laughs> There's Black Knight and Black Prince. Yeah, so I was going for range of tone and leaf shape. This is a lovely pointy leaves, dark, dark forest green with almost garnet coloured tips. So if you imagine putting that in an arrangement, maybe next to Prolifica, see how different they are. This one's tricky because it's so tall and heavy, it keeps falling over, so I've had to prop it up a bit in the pot just so it gets some roots down. This is Sedum Pachyphylum Nedgedly. I'm going to show you. Here we have a Senecio Aurelianus, aka String of Pearls. Really nice healthy plant. They looked a bit dehydrated when they arrived but I gave them a good watering and they plumped right up and look I have a flower. <laughs> Mad. Mad little flower. Love it. This is Sedum Morganianum. Burrow's tail. It is a trailing plant, so it's, it's it's going for it, it's growing. It's doing really beautifully. It was probably that sort of length when I got it, and I've only had it a month. And it looks like I've also got possibly a pup coming at the bottom. So that's really exciting. This is Graptiferia Debbie. And when she came, this was the, the main plant, she had this pup. And then I can get you in close enough. She had another two pups. I got a bit overexcited and thought, well, they're bound to do better if I pull them off, surely, and I'll plant them next door. Um, I've been lucky, I've hung on to them, but I have since discovered that actually it's probably better to leave the pups on a lot longer. Um, I, I thought it might stress out the mother plant, but I understand that is not the case. This is Sedum clavatum. Again, pushing lots of pups at the back. That's going to be an exciting one to propagate from next year. Quite quite a tall, drapey sedum. Um, interesting but I think looking at it I mean I've got pups coming off from halfway up up the main stem so I think it would be quite quite easy to take the crown off plant that somewhere else and and she'll probably bush out from lower down this is my Haworthia cooperi um, which is coming into its growing season Haworthia grow in winter uh, whereas most of everything else I have is summer growing and look we've got a pup we've got a pup it's exciting I have recently like literally last week potted it up 
because it was in a minute pot. It was in that. Um, that's a <laughs> that's a big step up, but it's the only spare pot I had. Um, I haven't got anything smaller at the moment, so I, I went for it and I popped it into from that to that. Um, but again, I didn't water it. I left it for a good couple of days, and it seems fine. It seems to have. It was looking a bit a bit dried out. Um, some of the leaves have gone a bit, ugh. but they're all nice and firm now. Yeah, I think it's happy. It's <laughs> it's been promoted to a bigger pot. So these are cuttings of topsy turvy that I took. They have grown fantastically. Really happy with that. That's Echeveria topsy turvy. That the leaves look bent the wrong way, hence the name. I have a jade, I have a furry echeveria, could be the arachnoides, don't know. These two are a bit of a mystery. Uh, this I believe is um, Mesembryanthemoides, Crassula Mesembryanthemoides. I've mentioned that already in a in the first video with the grow lights and then here this is where I've been pinching off uh, the jelly beans and just bunging them in to propagate. This is Sedaviria litsia litsia. Pretty. Gorgeous dark dark green is growing quite tall but she's not etoliated, etiolated, I will get to say that right, she's not etiolated, um, the space between all the leaves is really tight so I think she's just happy and then she's thrown up this flower stalk which I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. She's also got a pup down the bottom there. This is Graptiveria picrusa. Uh, she does look a bit etoliated, but she is under the grow lights. I don't quite know what to do there. Uh, but she is flowering, so maybe she's just a little bit tired from all the flowering. I have such unusual flowers. And there is a little pup at the bottom here as well. I mean, that's quite a that's quite a plant, isn't it? <laughs> and all this, all the all the flower spikes, all of this extra growth, and as actually that's another pup there. All that has happened since I've had them and that's only about a month. This is Echeveria van Breen. Again came with a pup underneath soft, soft bluey green with just a, a hint of pink at the very tips. That is Sedum Sandra Mottram, throwing pups and again has put on all that growth since I got her a month ago. Uh, you can see that although the, the bottom growth has maybe got a little bit stretched, a little bit, the top is is really nice and compact. The space between each leaf section is really tight. Hopefully you watched my video making a teacup arrangement, a cappuccino cup arrangement with Graptiveria opalina. There she is. Looking super. I just go around and take off the old dead leaves. Uh, obviously the old leaves are at the bottom, the new leaf is all pushed out from the centre so when you see one go wrinkly and brown like that one, just carefully pull it out from underneath. It's absolutely fine and every now and again I will give her a little dust with my soft brush. Here's a little tip. If you accidentally the leaf with uh, your finger and you uh, remove some of the lovely dusty 
coating, it is possible, I have discovered, very lightly, with a very soft brush like this, to disguise it. You won't get rid of it, and if you're too heavy handed you'll actually leave marks on the rest of the leaf, but you can slightly redistribute the, the, the sort of dusty coating, and it looks a little bit less. Yeah. Then I wanted to show you uh, a couple of my leaf propagation trays. This is entirely Pearl von Nurnberg. Uh, let's show you good leaf growth at the end of the parent leaf. But I'm going to be good and I'm going to hang on and I'm not going to pull the parent leaf off like I did before. <laughs> Look at that crazy root growth. Pup parent plant. Every couple of days I'm misting the entire surface just with plain water you're trying to keep the roots hydrated. In here I have got a mixture of I've got some moonstone leaves which have all got adorable babies on. These are topsy-turvy babies so there's the topsy-turvy parent leaf. Can you see? Yes. And there's the new plantlet coming. I've got lots of jade money plant in here as well, all rooting and some with leaves. This is a golem, crassula golem leaf which I got. and lots of baby jelly beans. In here I have some other leaf cuttings and uh, it's going to be a bit tricky to see. I have some Kalanchoe tomentosa or panda plant. That's exciting, they are putting out pink roots already. There's two there. I've had them since November. Uh, I don't know what this baby is but I pulled it off another plant which is now branching out quite nicely you can see that so that obviously didn't mind being pinched out I have got some Senecio which I think is Senecio serpens this is a really dodgy one I don't think I've got enough plate for this to actually do anything. Uh, I think it's lying to me, but the other one. Ooh. <laughs> has, has definitely put out some root. So this is the tray that's got my my one and only prolifica leaf in it. And I also bought from the Netherlands, I think. I'm gonna have to look up where I got that from. Two Echeveria Lola leaves. You can't seem to buy an Echeveria Lola plant for love no money here in the UK. Um, so I had to buy leaves instead. These didn't have any roots on them at all, no development at all. But I have got pink roots coming. You probably can't see, but there are pink roots developing at the very edge of the leaf there. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to rate, share and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And until next time, have a very happy Christmas. Bye. Bye.